In Jurassic Park, the place to go to satisfy a Tyrannosaurus-sized hunger is McDonald's, where something big is happening to your favorite extra value meal, Dino Sizing. For just a little more, get Dino Size fries and a large drink in one of six free Jurassic Park collector things. Dino Sizing. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. And now at McDonald's, dinosaurs come to life on six Jurassic Park collector cups. Get one free when you buy a large drink or Dino Size extra value meal. But hurry before they're extinct. Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? So I'll be honest, movie reviews aren't necessarily my thing, but I watched uh, the original Jurassic Park with a couple of friends and I figured, hey, why not review it? It's a popular movie from back in the 90s, so I figured, I mean, personally, I've never seen Jurassic Park, but when my friends were deciding to watch a movie, I was like, huh, I never watched Jurassic Park. They're like, what? You know, they were surprised. I, I watched it, it was pretty good, but either way, I feel like I'm going off the rails. Uh, before I get started with the review, I just wanna give a quick shout out to some of my friends out there on Discord. First off, shout out to the uh, ABL Discord. Uh, first off, sh shout out to uh, Shreeps. Shout out to uh, Lee. And shout out to Pascal. Anyway, I just want to give a quick shout out to people who I watch the movies with. Those are some cool people right there, so uh, shout out to them. Now, to get started with the review. So, Jurassic Park was kind of slow to get into, and I, and I kind of like that. The movie sort of takes its time to get to, get to the main you know, plot point. And I'm, I'm just going to say this first hand, I'm not going to be able to, you know, show clips of the movie because I'm not trying to get copyright struck, so my apologies. Anyway, though, like I said, the movie sort of takes its time to get started. So, of course, the movie starts off with these guys unloading this dinosaur, of course, the, the dinosaur eats them. Then, of course, there's the mining scene where the miners find this mosquito trapped in the sap. That's from the dinosaur ages. And then, of course, there's the archaeology. So, so, like I said... This movie sort of takes its time to get started, and to be honest, I don't really mind that. Now, I'm, I'm not going to spoil the plot for you. If you want to watch it, go ahead and watch it for yourself. It's honestly a great movie. Now, one thing I do want to bring up is the CGI and the, I guess, the dinosaurs or the, or the props themselves. Now, the CGI in this movie is really, really good for 1993. But then again, it wasn't all CGI. It was, I, think it, I think it was sort of a mix of animatronics and CGI. It was sort of like a mix of both. But the point that I'm getting at, it is, it is honestly really good. I mean, shit, it's better than the CGI from the movies I've seen for the past, like, 20 years. When it comes to graphics and special effects, it's honestly great. Of course, there's a few moments where you could see, you know, the outdated technology, but, you know, those, those are kind of slim. You actually have to pay attention to find them. And now, I also sort of like the tense scene with the dinosaurs as well. Like that like that moment in the car where things are shaking or that, <laughs> that, that one, uh... <laughs> That one, a uh, fat guy, when he has to deal with the uh, dinosaur that spits a uh, venom. Those are some of my favorite scenes. And that one scene in the kitchen as well, that, that was also another good one. Now, I also like the questions that this movie brings up. Like, should we be cloning, like, dinosaurs and shit, or should we be cloning humans and whatnot? I, I kind of like that. That's sort of like a deep question from, like, a movie or whatever. Sort of brings up, like, a debate like it did in a movie. And uh, one, one stupid nitpicky point that I want to bring up, this is one of Samuel Jackson's first, well, I guess, early roles. I've seen Samuel Jackson's more popular work, like Pulp Fiction and stuff like that. And it's, it's kind of weird, he didn't say motherfucker at all. That's kind of weird for Samuel Jackson. Thing. I eat the pussy, I eat the butt, I eat every motherfucking thing. Motherfucking motherfucker, I'll chew his ass up. Motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker. You're a smart motherfucker. English, motherfucker. 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 We're not gonna store the motherfucker. Motherfucker. I'm on the motherfucker. Yeah, as you can see, he says motherfucker a lot. I mean, the worst he said in this movie was damn. E either way, that's just one uh, stupid nitpicky point that I, that I just want to make. Either way, I, I just think this is a great classic movie. Of course, you know, it has its bad moments, it has its funny moments. It has its jump scares as well. But if you've never seen this movie, I highly recommend you watch it. It's a classic movie from the 90s. It's, it's great. Like I said in the beginning, it takes a while to get into. Some people may not like that. Some people may want to get, you know, straight to the point. But th this movie honestly takes its time to get to to get to the main, I guess, point. And sure, so some people may not like that. But I mean, if you if you honestly sit down and watch this movie, you'll, you'll, you'll go to like it. But you know what? If you want to, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. No rush. And tell me down below, do you like Jurassic Park? Do you hate Jurassic Park? Tell me down in the comments and I'll see you guys later. Peace.
Sir, I pursue you Twitter You are creator of sex I need big cock I'm not taking commissions right now Big cock for madam Yes, I am fuming at the thought 